Hi students, I hope all of you are well at home. Today we will learn the topic microbes in sewage treatment, which is under class 12, subject biology, chapter 10, microbes in human welfare. Students, from this chapter I have already done two videos, that is microbes in uh, industrial products and microbes in household products. Today we will learn about microbes in sewage treatment. We know that large quantities of waste water, large quantities of waste water are generated every day in cities and towns. Major component of this waste water is the human excreta. Major component of this waste water is the human excreta. Thus, municipal waste water is also called as sewage. So, as the major component of the waste water is the human excreta, so the uh, major component is human excreta. The municipal waste water is also called sewage. It contains large amount of organic matter and microbes. Many of which are pathogenic. Many of the microbes are pathogenic. Pathogenic means which causes harm to our body or which causes diseases in our body. This cannot be discharged into natural water bodies like rivers and streams directly. So obviously if uh, uh, the waste water contains so much of means uh, human excreta and all this sewage and it contains uh, many organic matter and microbes and are pathogenic in nature then they should not be directly discharged into water bodies like rivers, rivers streams. Okay. So this cannot be discharged into natural water bodies like rivers and streams directly. Before disposal, before disposal, hence sewage is treated in sewage treatment plants. Sewage is treated in sewage treatment plants, which is abbreviated as STPs. So sewage is treated in sewage treatment plants, which is abbreviated as STPs, to make it less polluting. Treatment of wastewater is done by the heterotropic microbes naturally present in the sewage. So, treatment of wastewater is done by the heterotropic microbes naturally present in the wastewater or the sewage. Treatment of wastewater is done by the heterotropic microbes naturally present in the sewage. This treatment is carried out in two stages. First is the primary treatment and next is the secondary treatment or biological treatment. So first is the primary treatment and next is the secondary treatment or biological treatment. Now students I will explain you, I will explain both this treatment by showing you some pictures. So, I will show you the pictures and the diagrams and I will go on explaining about this treatment. So, you observe the diagrams and the pictures carefully and listen to my explanation properly. First, we will learn about the primary treatment. This treatment steps basically involve Physical removal of particles, large and small, from the sewage through filtration and sedimentation. These are removed in stages. Initially, floating debris is removed by sequential filtration. Then the grit, G-R-I-T, grit that is soil and small pebbles are removed 
by sedimentation all solids that settle form the primary sludge or the waste sludge as written in the diagram and the supernatant forms the effluent the effluent from the primary settling tank is taken for secondary treatment next we will learn about secondary treatment or biological treatment the primary effluent is passed into large aeration tanks where it is constantly agitated mechanically and air is pumped into it this allows various growth of useful aerobic microbes into flocks f l o c s flocks flocks are the masses of bacteria associated with fungal filaments to form mesh like structures while growing these microbes consume the major part of the organic matter in the effluent this significantly reduces the bod bod stands for biological oxygen demand this significantly reduces the bod of the effluent bod refers to the amount of the oxygen that would be consumed if all the organic matter in 1 liter of water were oxidized by bacteria the sewage water is treated till the bod is reduced the bod test measures the rate of uptake of oxygen by microorganisms in a sample of water and thus indirectly bod is a measure of the organic matter present in the water the greater the bod of wastewater more is its polluting potential once the bod of sewage or waste water is reduced significantly the effluent is then passed into a settling tank where the bacterial flocks are allowed to sediment this sediment is called activated sludge a small part of the activated sludge is pumped back into the aeration tank or the aeration basin as shown in the diagram to serve as the inoculum the remaining major part of the sludge is pumped into large tanks called anaerobic sludge digesters or secondary clarifiers here other kinds of bacteria which grow anaerobically digest the bacteria and the fungi in the sludge during this digestion bacteria produce a mixture of gases such as methane hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide these gases form biogas and can be used as source of energy as it is inflammable the effluent from the secondary treatment plant is generally released into natural water bodies like rivers and streams so students this is all about today's topic that is microbes in sewage treatment i hope students you have understood today's topic properly so we will again meet in our next video